All right, ladies, are you ready for today's upper body workout? We're doing it Tabata style, and we will need our mats, weights, a couple pairs of weights, light, medium, heavy, bands, resistant bands, and we are going to get a full body workout. We have nine total Tabata cycles, 20 second workout, 10 second rest in between, eight different exercises, or two exercises per Tabata cycle. Are you ready? Yes. The first one. I know. Let's go. I love that energy. <laughs> the first cycle, we're just going to warm up and we're going to start with jacks. Here we go. Jack it out. We've got a 20 second work time here. Warming up that body, getting the blood flowing so we don't injure our muscles. Keep it up. And rest. All right. The next exercise is going to be a burpee. And if you don't remember, we reach it up. Ready? Go. Reach up and step back. And if you need to decrease the intensity, you just take it slower. To increase the intensity, speed it up a little bit. And maybe on these first couple exercises, you take it slower, getting the blood flowing. The low impact jack. Ready? Here we go. Work it. Woo! All right, you guys ready for some good upper body work? We're gonna get lean, mean, fighting machines. Oh yes, Ooh. girl. And then we are also going to use our bands. We're going to lay down on the mat. Just grab, should grab our weights. 
and get down for our chest press here. Light to medium weight, chest press. Bring the elbows down to the mat and extend them up. Elbows down to the floor, extend up. Down to the floor, squeeze the chest to press your hands up above your chest. Exhale as you press up. Exhale, core is tight. Woo! And rest. Go ahead and stand up. Grab your hands. You're gonna stand on the mat either with one foot or with two feet. And you're gonna cross your, go ahead and pull one arm across so it starts low and you creep, bring it across with the other one. All right. Good job, Marcia. <laughs> I'm all discombobulated here. I'll get you on the next set. She's squeezing her chest as she brings her arm across the body. Rest. Grab those weights. Take it back down to a chest press. Ready? Go. Elbows down. Squeeze the chest to push your arms up above your body. Reach up to the sky as you press up. Reach towards those goals. We have some pretty amazing goals that we set for ourselves during this, our lift program. Let's aim for those goals. Rest. Go ahead and rock it up. Grab your bands. And remember to, and we're gonna cross over with the chest. So you cross over. If you need to make the bands more, if you need more resistance, you're gonna shorten the, the length of the band. You can also do a thicker band. Do all of the above. But you squeeze the chest as you pull the arm across your body. Excellent, take it down to that chest press. So we get a workout, just go standing up and sitting down. Ready, go. Elbows down to the mat, press up. Elbows down, squeeze up. You wanna exhale as you press up. And remember the ABCs of working out. Mercy, what are those ABCs? A, abdominals tight. B, blades back. C, chest up. Woo! Rest. Go ahead and rock it up. Grab those bands. Woo! ABCs, ready? Here we go. Abs are tight. Core is contracted, stabilizing the spine. B, blades back. Chest is out, and S. Wait, what is ABC? Chest. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Rest. All right. Go back down to this mat. Grab the weights one more time for that chest press. Ready? Here we go. Work it out. Cross them up. Squeeze those pecs. Feels so good. You should get a nice stretch as you open your arms as well. So you should feel it as you open and also as you press up towards the ceiling. Rest, rock it up, grab those bands, and let's head into that chest with a slight crossover. Ready? Squeeze the chest, lift it over, up and over. Exhale as you press the arm across the body. Keeping the core engaged. Keep a smile on your face. You got this. Woo! Burn, baby, burn. Yes. Excellent. You guys, awesome. You can wait for your second cycle. The next round of Tabata is going to be shoulders. You're going to grab your medium weight because we're going to do, you can actually do a little bit heavier for Arnold presses. It's going to be our first exercise. Grab some water if you need it right now. And then we're also going to do a frontal raise. So you want your lighter weights, but our thumbs are going to be up for that frontal raise. So get ready. We're going to start with that frontal press. We still have about 10 seconds left. And ladies, if you want to, you can also use the bands for the frontal press. I'll show you with bands and we're we use the heavier weights. Ready with the frontal press. Palms start by your shoulders and you press up, twisting around. Good. Yes. These are so good for your shoulders. I remember when Marcy was training me for the bikini competition, she'd have me do these. She's like, these bring out the nice head of your shoulders, it's beautiful. 
good, go ahead and release. If you have heavy weights or the hand, you can drop it down to lighter weights. Front of race, thumbs are facing up. Ready, here we go. Raise it up and down. And you want to pause at the top and then release it down. Remember, we're not swinging back and forth. We're not doing these really fast. We have that mind-muscle connection. Really intensifies the workout. Exhale as you lift up. Rest. All right, grab those heavier weights or your bands for that Arnold press. Ready? Begin. Press up. So your palms face your shoulders, and as you extend your arms up, you're going to, to rotate your palms so they face the, the other direction. So they face you, and then they face away from you. Good. I'm definitely warming up. How about you guys? <laughs> Good. Go ahead and release. Get back to those lighter weights. Frontal raise. Oh, yeah. Ready? Here we go. Lift up and down. Exhale, inhale. Squeeze the shoulders to raise the arms. Now, if you want, you can have a heavier weight, but you might bend your elbows. But it's honestly better to keep arms more extended, never locking out the elbows. Here's a water fight. Rest it. All right. Grab the heavier weights. Arnold press. Water band. Ready? Begin. Work. Work, baby, work. Good. All right, you're flip over. You're going to do those back rows. 
So try to get the adjustment of your bands. And here you go. We are going to squeeze. So squeeze it back and release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze. Feel it. Yes. Woo. Keep doing it. Remember the chest is going to be up. And last one. Good. We go back to your front for Superwoman. Laying it down. Make sure your head is not, your neck isn't up or you're going to curve it and, and put pressure on there. See what Jackie's doing. She's still looking down. Good. And you're going to bring it up and squeeze and release. Ooh, squeeze. I'm feeling it. And release. Good job. You just want to make sure your head is facing the floor. Good. All right, flip it around. We're going to do your back moves. Let's do this. Woohoo! Hustle. Hustle. <laughs> All right, bring it back, straight back, and squeeze. Keep your elbows close to your body. Don't let it flare out. I don't want to see any of this up. We're actually, that's a different move. We're going to go down. So elbows to the waist and pull. Elbows to the waist and pull. Almost there. Good. Super woman. Just make sure we do these correctly. You look at the floor. And then you're just going to fly for a second and release. Fly and release. Remember, no flowing around. You don't want to do this fast. And it doesn't matter how far you come off the ground. You just want to be able to pick up your hands and your feet. Good. Still very effective. Woo! Woo! Great. Right. Hustle, hustle. <laughs> Here we go. Back row and squeeze. When you have that flat back, you just want to make sure you pinch back there. Remember, no arching forward. You might have to sit against a wall if you want to correct your posture. If you really think you have horrible posture, the best thing to do is sit next to a wall. <laughs> Bring it back and squeeze. Good. Okay. Flip it around. Ooh. Hands on the ground, toes on the ground. Now we're going to lift and go. Lift, release. Lift, release. Flying over here. <laughs> Flying high. Good job. You feel it in the shoulders, your whole back, your glutes. Awesome. All right, again, take a little water break. We're going to go into our next set. We're going to do a bicep twist with a tricep extension. So I'm going to go and show you guys that while we're getting some water and getting ready for the next Tabata set. So for your bicep curls, you can use the bands or dumbbells. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring it up, you're going to curl, and you're going to twist to the side. So you're going to bring your biceps, your curls, it's going to look like this. Up and squeeze. Release it down, up and squeeze. So palms will face to each other and up. Ready? Let's go. Palms up, squeeze and twist. It's all about that twist on the biceps. Good job, Jackie. <laughs> Feeling it. Yes, when you feel that, that squeeze, you're going to feel right here on the inner bicep. So you bring it up, squeeze. Make sure it's a really good twist. Awesome. All right, either with the bands or the dumbbells. I'm going super light on the dumbbells. Let's do that. Instead of a kickback, we're going to go straight back. All right? And then palms up, and then we're going to pulse. And it's going to look like this. Little teeny tiny, maybe two to three inch movements. And we're going to pulse the back there, palms up. You're going to feel that contraction in the tricep. Oh, yeah. Woo. Good job. And again, bicep curls. Palms are going to face each other, and then they're going to twist outward. Here we go. Bring it up and twist, release, twist. And if you think you need to go heavier, Put those weights down, go heavier. It's all about challenging yourself and getting stronger. Whether it's your body physically getting stronger or your mind, we are here to help you get stronger. Last one, good. Tricep, 
extensions with that little palms forward, uh, palms up. Here we go. Extended arms and pulse. Two, three, four. Good. Small two-inch tiny movements. Focus on it. Use a mind-muscle connection. Think of that tricep being contracted. Palms up. These little movements are always so difficult for me. <laughs> Good. Bicep twist. Here we go. Bring it forward. Up and twist. Here we go. Squeeze. Release. Squeeze. Release. How good does that feel? Feels amazing. I like working really biceps. Really like it. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you go as heavy or as light as you want to. Push yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I say push yourself always. Good. Triceps. Speaking of, I'm going to try and go up a little bit. We'll see. All right, go, Jackie. Go. I'm a little bit nervous. Long <laughs> arms, squeeze, and pulse. And watch your form here. Make sure, remember, you're not arched. Make sure you're not arched or hunched over, either or. Make sure it's long, straight arms. You're keeping your core tight in this position. Ooh. So you're working your core and your triceps. Woo! I'm feeling. Oh, yeah. Woo! Okay. Bicep twist. It's not much of a break, is it? <laughs> it it's like it flies by. Here we go. Bicep curl and twist. It sounds good on paper, <laughs> but when you're doing it, it's like a hustle. Yeah, get to the next exercise. Get your stuff ready. I love a good Tabata class. Oh, yeah. Keep you on your toes. Literally. <laughs> Almost there. Squeeze. Good. All right. Here we go. Tricep. Bend over. Core tight. Extended arms. And we're going to pulse. Two, three, four, five. Come on, you got it. Pulse. Think about that. Core tight, chest out, triceps contracted, and those little tiny pulses. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Feel that burn? Oh, I'm feeling it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Again, shake it out, rest it out before we begin the next set. Grab some water. All right, we're doing good. I like this workout's flying by. It really is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> so good. It is. All right, next exercise. We're going to do plank taps and standing chest fly. So plank taps, I'm going to go ahead and show you, Jackie. There's two variations I want you to do. First variation, we're going to start modified on our knees. And then you're going to go tap your shoulder, opposite arm, opposite shoulder. Your hand will tap the opposite one. And you're just right here, you're just practicing on stability and using your core. So we're going to begin like this, show the modifications, the more advanced, intermediate, advanced. You're going to obviously go into a regular plank, and then you're going to tap. Tap. Make sure you're breathing through it. Don't hold your breath. And see how Jackie has her core tight right here? So keep your core tight. You're still going to be breathing through the movement. And you're still going to feel it on your knees, too. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Good job, Jackie. Woo. Next one, we're going to do standing chest flies. And so you're going to stand up. It's just what it sounds like. You're going to fly it out. So you open up, palms up, and then you're going to bring it together. Open up and squeeze it together. Now focus on squeezing the chest towards the center. Don't just touch the dumbbells. You want to make sure you open. Squeeze. Think about thinking about that chest muscle. And remember, we're working different muscles. A little full body, upper body. Okay, going into plank taps. Wherever you are today, you're going to go into the tap, and then you're going to tap, down, tap, down. And just make sure this helps you build strength wherever you are at. Be careful not too much swinging over body. People would like to swing from left to right. We really want you to focus on doing it slower and controlled. You can bring it up, bring it down, up, down. It's all about control and building strength to get there. All right, here we go. Chest flies. Both and a half wide. You guys ready? Let's go. <laughs> and then bring it in and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Good. I feel these bad boys. Oh my gosh, these are tough. Yes, they are. And I picked the threes. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. Woo! <laughs> Overachiever. <laughs> Overachiever. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into our things so we can play tabs, we can do a plank, and 
here we go. And tap, tap, tap. And you remember I said go slow or as fast as you want. But we really want you to think about control. Really put control into this plank as you make your way through it. One more, tap, down, good. All right, here we go. Grab those dumbbells. <laughs> Open up as that fly. And go, squeeze. Open. It's like you're giving this receiving and scooping it up. Receiving. Oh, it scooping. feels so good. Squeezing the chest. Woo! Woo! Okay, plank taps. We're going to go down to the ground. Get into that plank position. Here we go. And tap. Tap. Slow and controlled. Tap. Tap. Woo! Yeah. Feeling in that shoulders. And my core. Oh, yeah. Wow. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Grab those dumbbells back up to the chest for us. All right. Going a little bit heavier, finally. Oh, look at her. Woo! Open it up. Scoop it in. Open. Scoop. Remember, you're going to receive the goodness that's coming to you. Think about all the things you want in life. Imagine it. You're going to open those arms. Scoop it in. You deserve it. Oh. And release. Grab some water. All right, our next set is going to be shoulders. I'm going to be using super lightweight, so you want to do light to maybe medium light. So you can go ahead and grab those weights. The first one, this one, we're going to go up to the front, out to the side, and then lower all the way down. And then you're going to bring it up to the side, up to the front, and bring it down. And then the next one is a rear delt fly. Ready, ladies? Here we go. It's front, side, down, side, front, down. Front, side, down. You're kind of like around the world shoulders, working every single angle of the deltoid, of the shoulders. Good. And relax. The next exercise is that rear delt fly, hinging at the hips, Hands come down to the side, and you're going to think about squeezing your elbows back and then relaxing down. Ready? Let's do it. Squeeze and release. Remember, whenever you do these rear delt flies, you're leading with the rear delt, the back of the shoulder, and think about squeezing in between the shoulder blades as you lift up. Five more seconds. Good. And release. All right. Back to those around the world shoulders. See why we use those light weights for this one? <laughs> Buddy? Definitely burn out. <laughs> right? All right. Front, side, down. Side, front, down. Front, side, down. Side, front, down. Make sure you're breathing throughout. Push yourself through these exercises. Rest. All right. Over to those rear delt flies. Ready, ladies? Core tight, hinge at the hips, and work it out. Squeeze and relax. Also, when you're doing this exercise, think about keeping your shoulder, your shoulders relaxed and your neck relaxed. So you look how Marcia's back and neck is in one perfect line. So you don't want your head to be dropping too far down or looking too far up. Rest. All right. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit, you can pick up a little bit heavier weights. I think I'll try heavier weights on the last set. Ready? Around the world. Front, side, down. Side, front, down. Are you feeling it at home? Are you feeling it, Marcia? I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, mama. It is. Mm -hmm. Rest. Getting ready for those rear delt flies, literally working this entire shoulder. Ready? Here we go. Squeeze, release. 
Exhale as you bring your arms up, and then inhale as you drop them down. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Think about leaning with the elbows to raise up. Squeeze. You got it. Rest. Excellent. I am going to attempt. I might have to drop set. I might have to go back to the two counts. We'll see. Ready? Around the world. Work it. Front. Side. Down. Side. Front. Down. Wonderful. <laughs> I can see all those big smiles at home. Getting so excited you can do a little plant chicks dance while you do this too. Rest. Good. Here we go with that rear delt fly. Hinge forward at the hip. Core is tight. And begin. Squeeze as you lift up. Exhale as you contract and lift up. Woo! You got it. Almost there. Rest. All right, set those weights down. Grab some water. This is our 40 second break. Shake it out. Do a little plant chicks dance. All right, all right, all right. Next, we're going to work our back. The first exercise is going to be a lat pull down using the bands. And this one, you really do need bands. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a single, single, double. If you want it more intense, you just shorten the length of the band. If you don't want it as intense, you make it a little bit longer. But you want to make sure it's solid here. But we're going to do one arm at a time, and then you'll do both arms together. Ready? Let's go. You're going to pull one arm down, the other arm down, and then both arms together. Good. Keep going. Now, as you see, Marcia, her hands are either right by the ears or slightly in front. You do not want them behind your head. It's going to help protect the back. She's leaning with her elbow to pull down. Excellent. Release. Drop those bands. We're going to take it down to the ground, and we're going to do some swimmers. Now, I'll demonstrate with Marcia. She's going to extend an opposite arm and leg, just like you're swimming. And ladies, if you need to modify this, you're going to be all the way on the ground, and you'll just lift opposite arm and leg together, drop down to the ground, other opposite arm and leg down together, and then drop it to the mat. But you're really squeezing the back of the spine. Good. Bring it up to that left pull down. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. <laughs> Getting it in. Yes. Ready? Work it. One arm. And both arms. You exhale as you pull down, exhale, and both arms. Notice the knees are soft, so are the elbows, they're not locked out. Good, and rest, take it down to the mat for those swimmers. I'll show the modified version, and Marcia will do the more advanced version. So modified is just one arm at a time, and Marcia is pumping it out with those swimmers. Opposite arm and leg. And if this is too much for you, you can just do your arms and then your leg. Do what feels best for you. Good. Rest, stand it up. Lap pull down. With that band. Hustle, baby, hustle. <laughs> and work. One arm. Other arm. And both arms. Good. And see, I'm even adjusting as I go. I can make the band shorter or longer if I need to. Listen to your body. But remember, you don't grow without pushing through. Rest. Take it down to the mat for those swimmers. I'll modify. Marcia will do the regular version. Work it. Squeeze, squeeze. Work in the back of the, the lower back, the spine, really good for stability, posture, rest, stand it up, drag your fans for the lap, pull down, get it together, that's for me really, alright begin, 
Yes. Oh, we are almost there. Almost there. Working that back, making it nice and sexy. We can wear those backless shirts. Who likes backless shirts? Oh, yes. Yeah. Super those, sexy. Yes, those sexy back muscles. And rest, take it down to swimmers. I'll modify. First heel, we'll show the regular. Opposite arm and leg. Good, core is tight, neck is relaxed, not looking up too much or down too much. Rest. All right, here's our 40 second break. And ladies, we have one more Tabata cycle. We are going to be working our arms. We're going to do side curls. You can use your heavier weights or your bands, we're able to use the weights, I'll use the bands. And then the second one will be a plank move. We're gonna, I'll show, we'll show you that. But grab some water if you need to, rest it out a little bit, stretch, but keep that blood flowing. We don't want you to sit down, we don't want you to lose your mojo. Ready ladies? Side curls, arms face out, and you're gonna pull your arms up to your shoulders, relax them down, lift them up, and oh, down. Yeah, you gotta take what we do. <laughs> we do the plant chicks pivot all the time. I'm telling you, we're here in this workout with you. Woo! Good, and rest. Now we're gonna take it down to the plate. We'll show you with Marcia. She'll demonstrate. She'll do the modified first. The regular one is just gonna be up on the feet, but modified is on the knees. And you're gonna drop it down to your forearms and then come back up. So you drop down to the forearms and come back up. Excellent. You want to try and minimize the movement of the body as much as possible so you're engaging that core, but you're also really getting those triceps. Rest. All right, grab those weights. We do those bicep curls to the side. Just what weight you need. Ready? Let's work it. Woo! Squeeze. Really focus at the top. Squeeze. Focus and squeeze. Mind muscle connection. You got it. Oh yeah. We're eating with those plant chicks plates. Really nourishing our bodies. Good. And rest. Take it down to the plank. Marcy, why don't you keep it as a modified? I'll go up here. And we take it down to the forearm. Go ahead, work it. Yep. And up. Down to the forearm. And up. Woo! Really getting the chest, triceps, core, shoulders. It's a full body workout right here. Oh, yes. Great. All right. Get that bicep, get the band of your weights. Side bicep curls. And work. Squeeze it up. So again, we're eating those nourishing and healing meals in our plant chicks plates, plant chick blenders, and this is where we're shaping our body. It's about 80, 90% nutrition. What do you always say? How much percent? Do you, do you say a certain percentage? 80, 90. Yeah. All right, rest. Take it down to the plank, up and down. And work. So what I like to do on this exercise, on the first one, I was going up and down, leading with my left hand. And this time I'm going down and up, leading with my right. So I like to alternate between the cycles. But do what you want to do. Good, rest. Bicep curls. Woo! <laughs> Almost there. Yes, my heart is pumping. Bicep curls. Squeeze and release. Oh yeah. Ooh. Exhale as you lift up. Engage those muscles. Couple more. Yes. You did it. Plank. Take it down and up. And work. Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh. 
I am feeling it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Heart, the <laughs> shoulders. Yes. Oh. Take the other one to your chest and breathe. Make sure you breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. And then one more time, we're going to take both knees into the chest. Feel a deeper stretch. Oh. And then release. We're going to bring it down. We're actually going to stand up on this. We did a lot of the upper body today, so we're going to take, we're going to do a shoulder stretch. We're going to take our arm across our body, and we're going to stretch the back of the shoulder. This is when we do the rear delts. It's going to stretch it out. Ooh, what a good workout. Oh, the stretch feels so good. You're going to release and take your arm across the other side of your body and squeeze. Give a good little stretch there. Good job. You guys did an amazing job. Sometimes workouts are easy to do. Sometimes they're hard to do. Wherever you're at today, just thank yourself for being here, for just for showing up. You're going to relax. You're going to intertwine your fingers behind and stretch out your chest and your shoulders. And your arms could be, or your hands could be open, or they could be closed, depending on your level of flexibility. Jackie's always super flexible. Oh, Jackie's super. flexibility goals. <laughs> Except for my shoulders. Ah. <laughs> tight. This feels good. So just giving a good stretch there. All right, we're going to go and stretching the biceps. You're going to put your hand out, palm out, bring it down, your fingers to the ground, and your other hand you're just going to squeeze. Bring those fingers back, and you feel, should feel a nice stretch into the bicep. Because we did those curls, we did all kinds of bicep work today. This is great if you've been on a computer. It's a great stretch. All right, release. Take the other hand out. Bring those fingers back. Stretch the bicep. Wonderful. Now we're going to take one arm overhead. Bring it back, take the other hand, and you're going to pull the elbow back, and we're giving a nice tricep squeeze. Just stretching it back there, making it long, relaxing into the movement. Whew. All right, bring it down, switch sides, stretch that tricep back. And release. We're going to do two deep breaths. So you can take arms overhead, breathe in through the mouth, and out. Again, and out. 
Congratulations, you did a great job. Ladies, we will see you on the next workout. And don't forget to tag us in your sweaty selfies. We want to see some sweat.